Young CEO, um, my name is Anthony Matsada. I'm a choreographer, director, writer, and performer, and I'm making a piece um, that's called Can Meet. And um, yeah, we're currently in rehearsals for that. So I was inspired by a book uh, called Galapagos by Kurt Vonnegut. And in that book, it talked about a, a kind of global uh, catalysm catalysm event where the world sort of ended and got to restart um, and it talks about how unhealthy the way we were living as human beings uh, was adding uh, and can meet I really liked the title because it feels quite ambiguous which is really freeing as a choreographer um, it's talking about the value that we place on ourselves as people it talks about um, the structures we have in place that fuel this um, hyper-aggressive capitalistic world we live in. So the piece has a, I guess, a structure that follows a canned meat factory. And while the while the day-to-day -day life of the factory is happening, outside in the real world, there's um, riots, there's protests, um, there's an idea of an apocalypse coming. Um, and we see also, the people in the factory being overworked. We see um, unhealthy work practices. We see abuse of power. We feel um, oppression and oppressiveness throughout the whole, whole piece. And as that oppression is happening, we're getting these reports of a world that's about to end. So the piece is living between two halves. The one is the present world and the one is millions of years later if human beings had the choice to restart or re-evolve, what would they look like? It was to find uh, dancers that I thought would uh, really be exciting to work with. Uh, dancers who were curious, dancers who had a sense of individuality as well as uh, an ability to pick up choreography and work. Um, and it was a chance for me to see who I connected with in the room. Um, and it was probably one of the most fun additions I've ever done. That they do things with their bodies. I'm like, how are you doing that? I would break my body if I even tried that. Um, and also, the training is a slightly different. So in the room, we have one dancer who does Korean traditional dancing and also contemporary. You have other dancers who come from like a more hip hop background and you've got other dancers who come from a conventional contemporary uh, place. So it's really, it's really nice that they all have their own really unique thing about it. But the way we generated choreography is we have a fantastic board at the back and each time we would talk about a new section, we would uh, uh, write down all the different thoughts and ideas and qualities and emotions that we would, we would think would be in that world. And then we would, we would make from, yeah, we'd make from that information. So it's felt really collaborative in the sense that um, I came with ideas, but they've given me a lot of ideas of what they think the piece should look like, which has been, which has been really great. And then there's also, <clears throat> we've been talking a lot about dreams. Uh, so I've got them to record their dreams um, in the first few weeks and they've shared those dreams. And then we've put those dreams into the music and <clears throat> they've created uh, movement from how they describe their dreams. There's no like one way that we've made the sound. There's been many different ways. Sometimes, um, like I remember when I was here, I think it was the second week I was in a uh, cacao taxi and I had a rhythm in my head and uh, we recorded it. Uh, the voice note was like, uh, and I sent it over to the composer and she made it from that sound. Um, so there's Sometimes it's rhythm, sometimes it's um, an idea or a thought, and then often as well, the composers just, I think we have over 50 songs. So there's a, there's a lot of songs to pick from and we're only going to use about 10. But there isn't a right answer to what you're meant to feel. There isn't a right answer to what you're meant to understand. The right answer is that you have your own thoughts and feelings about what the piece is, so um, yeah. I would like them. I would like them to leave with that. I would like them to leave with a sense of uh, um, feeling like they 
they've been in a really pressured environment and right at the end they finally get to breathe. The piece is just constantly squashing, squashing and squashing and it's, uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of tension which I'd love them to, to leave with. I also want them to enjoy seeing real people on stage. Um, sometimes dance can just be about what it looks like and not what it feels like and I'd like them to see those moments of connection that they have um, within the piece.